Are you using MailChimp for email marketing but want to boost revenue from your subscribers? If so, keep watching this short video. MailChimp is perfect for sending newsletters, managing subscribers, and tons more. But how can we monetize subscribers after capturing their contact information? Well, today we'll explain the simple way that many MailChimp users are growing their brands by converting emails into earnings. And spoiler alert, anyone can do it. But before diving in, please take a quick moment to click the like and subscribe buttons below. We always appreciate your support. So how do we convert subscribers into a steady stream of revenue? Well, the answer is simple. You see, you can drive more sales automatically adding MailChimp subscribers into your very own member community website. Now, this is the most effective way to keep users permanently connected to your brand. And the quickest way to launch a community website is with a platform called Brilliant Directories. And trust me, the name says it all. With a Brilliant Directories website, we can gather subscribers into one platform, sell monthly subscriptions, set up a professional directory of all of our email subscribers where they can manage their own profiles and interact with each other. And best of all, you can show off the size of the community that you've worked so hard to build. So let's dive into the fun stuff sending our MailChimp contacts into our Brilliant Directories website using Zapier. Now keep in mind that this will also work with other integration platforms like Pabbly, Integrately, and more. All right, so here we are inside of our MailChimp dashboard. And if we head over here to Campaigns, All Campaigns, you'll notice that we created a landing page called General Signup Form. And here is exactly what that looks like. So in this video example, what we're going to do is we are going to fill out the general signup form on our MailChimp landing page. And then we are going to automatically create a member profile for that user inside of our subscriber community website, which is powered by Brilliant Directories. And here is the subscriber community where we can see that there are currently over 70 different profiles inside of our community. So the very first thing that we want to do to set this up is head over here to Zapier. Inside of Zapier, we're going to go ahead and click on Create Zap. And the trigger is going to be MailChimp. We're going to click on that. And for the event, it is going to be a new subscriber. So once we have that selected, we're going to click on Continue. My MailChimp account is already connected, but if yours isn't, you are going to connect a new account. And once you do that, it's going to open up a new window and ask you to log in with your username and your password for MailChimp and then click on Log In. Once we have that integrated, you're going to see your account listed here, and then we're going to click on Continue. Next, we need to choose the audience. So in my case, mine is called Greg's Design Studio. We're going to select that and click on Continue. Then we're going to test the trigger just to make sure the integration is successful and we can see they have found a subscriber. So we're going to go ahead and click on continue. Now for the action, we are going to select brilliant directories. Once we do that, the event is going to be create a user. So we're going to select that. Then we're going to click on continue. Once we continue, we need to choose our brilliant directories account. So once again, mine's already connected, but if yours isn't, we are going to click on connect a new account. That's going to open up the pop-up window. And what we need here is our website URL and our API key. So for the API key, we can actually click this little hyperlink that says API details. And once we click that, that's going to automatically redirect us to our brilliant directories dashboard where we can create an API key for Zapier. So in the top right hand corner, it says generate API key. We're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to ask us for an internal nickname. I'm just going to call mine MailChimp Zapier and click on save API key. And once we save it, it's going to create our API key for us. I'm going to copy that, click on OK, and then I'm going to close out of that window. Then I'm going to head back to my Zapier pop up window and I'm going to paste it in there just like that. Next up, we need our website URL for our Brilliant Directories website. So now we're going to go back over here and now we're going to click on this orange button that says visit website up here in the top right. We're going to click on that. That's going to open up our website and we can actually just copy the URL from the address bar up here once we open up our website and then head back to our pop up window. And we're going to paste it in there just like that. All right. So once we have that pasted, we actually only want everything up to the dot com. And then we want to delete everything after.com. So we're going to go ahead and delete that right there. 
have it stop at .com and click on yes continue. And that's going to go ahead and sync our account together with Zapier. So now we can head back into Zapier and we can see we have that synced up. We have MailChimp Zapier, which is what I called it. And then we're going to click on continue. Next, we're going to quickly map together the user data that we collected inside of MailChimp with Zapier. So in our case, it was the email. So I'm going to click inside of email and then I'm going to select the email from our MailChimp integration. And then I'm going to go to first name and we are going to scroll down here and select the first name. Now, if we just quickly double check our landing page, all we are collecting is the email address and the first name. So that's all I have to map together inside of Zapier. But the best part is you can actually collect any amount of data that you want to pass it through Zapier and then pass it through your Brilliant Directories website. So once you have everything mapped together, we're going to scroll to the bottom and click on continue. Now, once we click on continue, we can go ahead and test the action just to make sure everything is synced properly together, just like we did with the MailChimp integration. And as we can see, a user was successfully sent to Brilliant Directories. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and publish the Zap, publish and turn on. So now this is activated, it's live, and anytime someone signs up on our landing page, they should be automatically added to our Brilliant Directories website. So let's go ahead and test it and make sure that it works. So I'm going to enter my email, thomashilton123 at gmail, and then my first name, Thomas, and click on sign up. So we can see that I have successfully signed up for this landing page. So now if we head back over into our member directory and I refresh this, we should see Thomas was automatically added to the member directory. So we are refreshing it right now. Perfect. As we can see, Thomas has been automatically added through our Zapier integration. And there we have it. If you have a MailChimp account, this is a must have integration that you'll want to set up. To start monetizing your MailChimp subscribers, just click the free trial link in the description below. You'll get access to your own membership site and all of the growth strategies that we've got to offer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. We appreciate your support and look forward to helping you in our next video. Thanks for watching.